Lisa here. Welcome to my YouTube and blog. Today I'm sharing another card video showing how I achieved two different looks with the same stamp. I'm using several red rubber stamps from Some More Fun with the focus on the large daisy stamp. To get us started, I'm using 110 pound Nina Classic Crest cardstock in Solar White. So I'm going to use some washi tape just to mask off a section of the card because I want to stamp my sentiment here later. So I'm using some Distress Oxide inks and I started with Candied Apple Picked Raspberry and Worn Lipstick because my initial plan was to just stamp three of the large daisies right across the front. It was at this point I decided I wanted daisies covering the whole card front. So I cut two more masks out of post-it paper, added some removable adhesive to the back of the mask, and continued stamping. I also added one more color of Distress Oxide ink, and that was the Fired Brick. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the large daisy for the second card and I'm going to be using that same 110 pound Nina card stock and I'm going to use Memento ink and Tuxedo Black because I'm going to do some coloring with Copics. So using R59, R37, R35, and R32, I color the petals. I do go back in with N9 and add a little bit of shading. So for the center and the stem, I use YG97, YG95, YG91, and I add a touch of YG25 to the center. So I took this to my Scan and Cut to cut out. Uh, you can fussy cut it. It's not that, that it's a difficult or intricate pattern, so I think fussy cutting it would be pretty simple. I then decided that I wanted to stamp a border using the red rubber borders and plaids one stamped from Some More Fun and then I stamped the sentiment above that. So to assemble the card we're going to add 3D mounting foam to the back of the colored flower and then we're going to position that over that stamped border. Once we have that where we want it and adhered, we're going to flip that board, that panel over and we're going to add fun foam. Then we're going to add some adhesive to the fun foam and we're going to center that on a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card. So to assemble the first card, I cut the stamped image where the washi tape was. And you can see here where I cut it apart. So I want to position this so that I can stamp my sentiment and then we'll assemble this. So again, I'm just going to cut some fun foam to fit the stamped panels and then we're going to add some adhesive to the back of the fun foam and adhere it to our card base. So here's both cards finished. Thanks for joining me and I hope you'll join me again. Until then, take care and keep crafting.